So I'm gonna talk about feelings, how they work, how to turn them into your biggest fucking breakthrough, and then what the opportunity is in that. What I have found is that you can have all the best strategies and tactics and metrics in the world, but if you don't do this, you're still gonna be limiting yourself, and a lot of these things are not gonna mean anything to you. You're not gonna be able to use them because your unconscious mind, where all of this emotional stuff lives, is literally a million times more powerful than your conscious mind. Your conscious mind can process 40 inputs per second, whereas your unconscious mind processes 40 million per second. It wins, right? So we gotta get the unconscious mind on board or no, none of this other stuff really matters. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So just very recently, actually this new year, so it's December 30th, my accountant, he calls me and he says, look, we gotta pay this tax bill of $100,000. And I was like, dude, that, I would have loved if you had told me that like a month ago, maybe like two months ago. Cause that was the end of the year and I had intentionally run my cash flow very tightly, made some big investments right there. So I was like, fuck. The people who are doing my payroll and accounting and that kind of stuff, they're over in the Philippines. I couldn't reach them. So I was like, all right, screw it. Just run the damn thing and we'll figure it out. Come early January, Philippines come back online. I'm like, okay, extend this cash flow. I want to see how bad the situation is. Take it out three months, four months. So they come back to me and they're like, great. By late March, we're going to be negative $125,000. How about that? I'm like, fuck. Uh, like 125K, that's more than just me not taking my salary for a couple months and fixing it. Like I don't pay myself that much. So I was like, shit. And then two days later they come back and they're like, actually it's not 125, it's looking more like 165 right now. I was like, fuck, this is going the wrong way really fucking fast. So I felt like, shit, I'm out of control here. And so I had five mornings in a row where I woke up at 4.30 just in a panic. I was like, what's going on? And I know enough now, like A, I don't normally wake up at 4.30. B, I know enough not to try to solve the problem there. In the olden days, I would crawl up into my head and be like, we're gonna try to solve the problem right there. 4.30 in bed is not the time to solve this. It's the time to feel. So the thing is that I've learned is that feelings buried alive never die. And for me, what happened was, and sometimes it takes a while. So for me, it was like five mornings in a row where I woke up like this at 4.30 and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna breathe into it and feel as best as I can. And then finally on the fourth, fifth morning, I was able to go under, to feel it and then go underneath the feeling. And so underneath that layer of panic and fear, I discovered this grief and rage, like really intense grief and rage feeling. I was like, and I could feel it. I was like, oh God, this is amazing. Like now it's moving. I feel it shifting. And I kept digging. I was like, fuck, this is great kept digging and then under that I found this victim persona. So I bet you all have given advice to someone where they're like, ah, I can't solve this. And you're like, well, why don't you do this? And then they're like, no, I can't because uh, no. And then you're like, okay, well, then what about this? And they're like, no, I really can't, I can't, it's hard, right? They won't hear because they're stuck in their victim mindset. And I'm sure none of you have ever done that, but I'm sure you know someone who has. <laughs> and when you're stuck in victim, what you're committed to is having unsolvable problems. So fuck anybody try to fucking solve that problem for you. Because you're hooked into this idea that this problem is intractable. It's really hard. And so I realized, fuck, that's what I'm doing. 